this girl turned, this girl, I was like talking to one of my friends about this girl I liked or whatever, and this girl, Daniela, Daniela, I don't even fucking remember her name, um, turned around and looked me in the face and said, and they like, told me I was ugly to my face, and that I would never get a girl to date me. So, that was a thing that happened then. I guess uh, bullying in any sense would be uh, the intentional degradation of someone's self-worth. But I, I, that's a really blanket statement. I, I think a lot of people can bully unintentionally and you know, not necessarily think that it's going the wrong way, but it, it can. Um, bullying is when it's really just when you make someone feel shitty about themselves in any way. Physically, emotionally, mentally, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I define bullying as making somebody feel let, worth less than they actually are. And a lot of times you're doing it intentionally, but sometimes it can be unintentional. What defines someone who's really a bully is them not wanting to work towards people who don't think that those situations are their fault and blame it on other people and then don't change anything and don't work towards actively developing themselves as human beings. I think that's what really, um, and I don't think that's necessarily something that can change. Uh, that might just be an inherent human trait that some people have. And I think it can be relatively easy to get that way if you get in a bad emotional state. I think people bully because it makes them feel better about themselves to talk down to another person and makes them feel more important and that gives them the ability to hide their own insecurities um, and I think people bully to be liked um, and to be accepted. I mean most of my childhood was really defined by me being bullied incessantly. Um, so kids tease me quite a bit um, from fourth grade up until probably about like eighth grade, honestly. When I was a kid, I was in theater, so I got called gay and yada yada yada, which shouldn't even be an insult to begin with, which that's a whole nother thing, but like I got called gay and a field fairy because I didn't play traditional sports and I wasn't good and I wasn't big. I was a really small kid, and so like that's what I got made fun of for, for being a, a guy that danced and sang and yada yada yada, which whatever, fuck them. Um, and then in middle school it was more about appearances. I wasn't wearing brand clothing because my parents shopped at Kohl's and not at American Eagle because we weren't rich. Like, and that's what we got made fun of because I grew up in a really affluent area. Being Hispanic, I have a lot of facial hair and I would get made fun of a lot because of that. And I don't know if you would say that that's bullying, but I mean, it did hurt, and I did feel really self-conscious about it. I was sitting at this table, I just sat down at this table, pulled my, pulled my binder out and started working on stuff, and then these two other kids who I was kind of friends with, but were more popular, and I was definitely not. Um, and then this kid who was friends with them and popular and kind of just like a really big bully, um, came over and sat down and said, um, like, hey, you're not cool enough to sit here with us. Like, you need to move. People would tell me at school at recess that I had a mustache, or people would, point out the hairs on my knuckles like and it didn't it didn't feel good I think a lot of people bully others without even realize without even realizing that they are bullying someone you know just gossiping mean things behind someone's back I think it's really easy for kids to become bullies just because there's so many fucking changes happening and you're so insecure about everything that's going on in your own life like if you have bad acne but you super cover it up, someone else who has bad acne, you're gonna like want to point that out to draw attention away from yourself or whatever. It's not hard to be a bully. Um, there's so many ways that you can bully a person. Um, and I think now it's even easier to bully people um, because of the technology that we have and because of being able to be anonymous and being able to say things without being face to face with someone. I think a lot of people fall into becoming a bully without even realizing that they do. And I think that's because in order to be accepted and to be liked by groups of, of people, it feels like that you almost have to bully certain people sometimes. 
Um, so unfortunately, I don't think it is hard to be a bully because I think it's really accepted. Like eighth grade and freshman year boys are the most evil people on the fucking planet because they will pick at you, but it's the thing you actually hate about you. Like I am super insecure about my height and the fact that I have a scar on my nose. And like I got incessantly made fun of for those things in eighth grade in my freshman year. Just cause like that's where like people, you're smart enough to figure out what people actually care about and you go after that. Well, I think when you're younger, like for example in my case, it starts off as teasing, but then when they know it like pushes your buttons or affects you, they'll just keep going, going, going. And a lot of times, when it's to me, in my opinion, a lot of times when you're younger, it comes from a group of people. And I think as you get older, bullying can just it can turn into just one person. Uh, bullying sucks, man. Like it leads to a lot of people who have inherent like chronic depression like I do, uh, take things seriously and it takes things to heart and just leads to a lot of long term shit. Like I will never in my entire life be able to look at myself and see a positive thing. Like I hate myself when I look in the mirror every day. And I'm very open about that fact now because it helps me deal with it, but it doesn't make it any less true. I really do not like myself. <laughs> And I think it all stems from, I was a really happy kid. And then just in my most developmental years, people were just constantly berating me for all the little things I already hated about myself. And it just made them even more apparent and more real. And so, uh, like, I don't know, you get to a certain point where like things happen and yes, I'm better at dealing with them now, but it's just, it's it's bigger stuff. Your parents can be bullies. Everybody can be bullies. But people who make you feel less about yourself, it just sucks because that never goes away. Ever. <laughs> like, you become better at dealing with it. And, like, I've gone to counseling and therapy, and it's all helped me deal with it. I have the tools to deal with it and become a productive human being. But that those things are never going to go away. I'm still ridiculously insecure about my height. I think I see myself as less masculine because of it and uh, uh, this traditional form of masculinity because I got made fun of for not having it when I was a small child. I am constantly trying to achieve it even though it's just not who I am. And so, and like this is all coming from a, a straight white cis man. I am, I, my back hurts from the amount of privilege I carry and yet I still can't look at myself in the mirror and see everything good in my life. I definitely still find myself like worried about my appearance. Um, like, I have to really like keep up with how I look, as in like my facial hair and everything like that, because it's just been a constant thing in my life that I've always had to mm -hmm. be worried about it, and just you know I can't let it, I can't let it be there. I can't let it grow out too long because people are gonna say things, and that's always been. So I ha like it takes time for me to do these things, but like I make it a priority because I've had experiences where I felt like really bad and self-conscious about the way I looked. They pick out the differences between people and use that as leverage against them, even though it shouldn't be. Whether that's an economic status or a how you grew up or your parents' situation or whatever, just making people feel like they have less than you because of a certain situation. Like, oh, you haven't traveled the world as much as me, so I, I'm so much more experienced than you. And that's just like a minor example. We're not even talking about how people in politics are using fear of other races and religions to control things right now. That is, to me, the most intense form of bullying. And so I think it just develops, and those, those people who are just inherently assholes are always going to exist, and you're always going to have to deal with them. It's just they're not making fun of you for the brand of clothing you're wearing. They're just judging you and using your differences as leverage against you in the most awful ways. And a lot of times, those are the people that get into positions of power, and that fucking sucks. <laughs> anyway, sorry, that was... I don't even know.